What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'll be showing you how to add music on OBS for your live streams or your recorded videos. Now within this video I want to be showing you two ways. One way is going to be using a program known as VLC Media Player. Now the reason I recommend VLC Media Player, number one it's free, number two it uses less of your CPU. And also I just believe it's really easy to use and it has the most friendly user interface out of all of the media players. Of course it's completely optional, you can use it, however I do recommend it, a link to it will be in the description. So the first one I want to be showing you is with music you have downloaded and like I mentioned I do recommend you have VLC Media Player. The reason I say VLC Media Player is simply because the interface is much easier to control and also it uses less on the uh, CPU. So I'm going to open these three songs up as an example and I'm just going to turn the volume down so you can still hear me. However, it is still playing, as you can see. So I'm going to let that play in the background and I'm just going to minimize it and minimize this. Notice this on desktop audio, um, although the music is playing, it's not appearing here. So what you need to do is head over to settings and from here you want to select audio and you'll notice it says audio, or it says desktop audio device 2. Select here and select default. Select apply and OK. And you'll notice right now our audio waveform is working. So if I turn the volume up on VLC itself, so you can see it then works. Now, of course, when you're wearing headphones, it won't be making any uh, adjustments to your actual microphone audio. So bear that in mind. Now, the next thing you need to do is control the volume. So you'll need to make sure, of course, your audience can hear you as well as the music in the background. So just play around with it. And of course, the best way to actually optimize this is simply ask your audience. Say, is the music too loud? Is it too quiet? And then you'll just find your best way like that. Now, that's one way of doing it. And of course, that is doing it with a playlist you have downloaded onto your computer. Now, the next way of doing it, of course, is with YouTube itself. So just find a playlist or maybe you've made your own playlist before. Again, make sure it's no copyright. And I'll simply drag this to my other monitor. Notice you can't see the audio simply because it's turned down on YouTube. But if I turn that up, you can see that then works and the audio does show. So of course, once again, you'll need to mess around, maybe ask your audience what sounds good, what doesn't sound good. Is it too loud? Is it too quiet? And just find the best possible one for you.